Good evening, everyone. You know, when people talk about Renee, of course, they always talk about her incomparable voice. I get it. But what has always knocked me out about her work on stage is her acting. I mean, there she is, surrounded by these, yeah, I mean, give it to her. She's surrounded by these towering set pieces, a full orchestra, elaborate costumes and wigs, a huge chorus, sometimes even large animals lumbering around. And Renee just cuts through all that pomp and size and gives us a real, breathing human being. But oh, that double cream voice. It has inspired desserts and new flower species. It has brought us comfort and joy. But what is amazing about Renee is that she doesn't hold back and conserve that voice, you know, swathing herself in scarves and, you know. No, she doesn't do any of that. She uses her voice to call out for change, helping us understand the intersection of music, health, and neuroscience, working with National Institutes of Health and the Kennedy Center to lead the Sound Health Initiative, she has raised millions of dollars to fund research and raise global awareness of the benefits of the arts on health and wellness. She was recently honored at Davos with a Crystal Award from the World Economic Forum and was appointed as a Goodwill Ambassador for Arts and Health by the World Health Organization. Not too many singers have played those venues. And it all springs from that amazing voice. And yes, it is a God-given gift, but it's what you've done with your voice, Renee, that brings all of us here to the Kennedy Center tonight. <laughs>